so this is a uh, Pixel 6 Pro and I just want to show you in this video how bad the fingerprint sensor is, right? I think this is really um, the, the worst fingerprint reader I've seen in any smartphone for recent couple of years. I, I just don't understand how this thing can be so bad, right? You see, I use my thumb to do the fingerprint and uh, I mean, it just doesn't work. Uh, let us try again. You see, it just it just doesn't recognize my my fingerprint. Um, and uh, for for those of you uh, who might question, right, is it how you? Uh, yeah, yeah, this time it works, right? So after maybe I I don't know maybe ten twenty tries it will work. Um, I I don't really. I don't really get it, right? Um, yeah, this time it works, but it's super inconsistent. And uh, <clears throat> you have to find a very precise angle for it to work, right? And also I want to show you is on the latest update. It's a December update, as you can see here. And uh, now it's December. I Actually, I just updated this uh, yesterday to the latest um, security patch right and just to show you it's not about how i set up my fingerprint i can just remove my current fingerprint and just set it up here just to let you see how i do it i think i'm doing it okay because i i mean i've used so many devices with fingerprint readers right and this is what I do with all of them. I never had any issue with them. I just I just don't get it why this Google phone can be so bad for fingerprint readers. Okay. So you are you see that I set up my fingerprint from all angles and I bet it just doesn't work. See? Still doesn't work. Not recognized. What, what am I supposed to do? Yeah, I, 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 I don't know. I mean, you can say it's just me. Uh, maybe my fingers are a little bit different. But I never had any issue with other phones like the, the Z Fold. Right? I can unlock every single time. Right? It's super fast and super accurate. I never have any issue. But this one, it just... It just doesn't work. Like, I just can't get it to, to work properly. So uh, this can be very frustrating because the device also doesn't support face unlock. So when your fingerprint just doesn't unlock the device, it can be very, very frustrating at times. So if you are going to buy this device, I highly suggest you to take note of this issue and at least go try it out to see whether your fingerprint uh, works on this device. And if it doesn't, you really have to consider it very carefully because, I mean, not being able to unlock your phone is really, really frustrating, all right?